Hey there, Spider Runners. Brandon here with SlingMods.com, and today we have our brake light flasher kit for the Can Am Spider F3T, F3L, and the 2020 and up Spider RT models. Spider riders are obviously more vulnerable when out in the open road in comparison to cars and trucks since we don't have a steel cage surrounding us. We also know that under hard braking or deceleration, we can often feel like sitting ducks hoping that the person behind us is paying attention. So with safety in mind, we partnered up with our friends over at Trick LED to bring you guys a plug and play brake light flasher solution for the Can-Am Spider F3T, F3L, as well as the 2020 and up Spider RT models. This plug and play kit is designed to take your left and right rear brake lights from a standard solid brake light to a triple sequence of flashes so that every time you press your brake pedal, you're more likely to capture the attention of the motorist falling behind you. Now this brake light flasher kit will not only flash the left and right side brake lights, but also any other brake light mods you have plugged in after the modulator. For example, on our Shop 2020 RT, we have our afterburners. Now the installation is fairly similar for both the Spider F3T F3L and the 2020 newer Spider RT models, but there are some slight differences. So we're going to show you the full installation on both our Shop F3 Limited as well as our 2020 RT. I've also put a timeline below so you can skip ahead to your particular model. So let's get started. Start by removing your key from the ignition. Then pop open your top case and remove this protective mat so that you can unscrew and remove these two T30 torque screws underneath. This will now allow you to carefully pivot the top case up and be rested on the passenger seat. Now pop open your left hand side saddlebag door and use a T30 Torx to remove these two screws. And pop out this push pin so that you can pull that panel out just enough so that you can access and unplug the factory tail light harness by pushing down on the tab on top and pulling it apart. And then plug the new brake light flasher harness into it. And then repeat that same process for the other side. Pop open your saddlebag door. Use a T30 Torx to remove these two screws. Pop out this push pin. Pull the panel out just enough so you can access and unplug the factory taillight harness by pushing down on the tab on top and pulling it apart. And then plug the new brake light flasher harness into it. Now you can test your brakes to make sure the flashers work on both sides. And if everything looks good, you can reattach your panels and make sure you push on this metal tab before putting that push pin back in. And tightening down those two screws with a T30 Torx, making sure not to over tighten. And then just repeat that for the other side. And then just reattach your top case in the reverse order you removed it. Now for those of you with a 2020 up Spider RT model with top case, start by opening your rear trunk lid and turn the quick release counterclockwise a quarter turn till it turns red to unlock it from the bike. Next, slightly lift up on the top case till you feel it hit the safety latch and then push the release button in so that you can lift it up just enough to access and unplug the harness underneath 
by pushing down on the tab on top and pulling it straight back before lifting it up and off the bike. But if your RT did not come with the top case, start by pressing down on your key and turning it clockwise so you can unlock and lift up the driver's seat. Then reach your hand underneath and back to release the two clips holding the back seat in place and just lift it up and off. Now carefully lift up the rear deck panel and tilt it up and back to unhook it from the front. Next, open your left hand side saddlebag door and unscrew these four plastic screws. Now these are really just push pins so you don't have to unscrew them all the way, just enough to release the pressure on the clip. Then, use a 10mm wrench and T30 Torx to remove this bottom nut and bolt. Now, use a small flathead screwdriver to release the door shock, so that you can unscrew these two T25 Torx screws. Next, use an 8mm socket to unscrew this silver screw on top, and then unscrew this T20 Torx screw next to it, so that you can remove this cover piece and unscrew this T15 Torx underneath. And then do the same thing for the other side. Unscrew the four plastic screws. The bottom nut and bolt. Then remove the shock. And two screws underneath it. Followed by the two on top. So that you can remove this plastic cover and unscrew the small screw underneath so that you can pull the panels aside just enough to reveal the taillight harnesses. You can remove the factory antenna if you'd like, but we were able to slide the panel up and over the antenna to gain access to the wiring harness. Now unplug that factory brake light harness by pushing down on the tab on top and pulling it apart. And then plug the new brake light flasher harness into it on both sides of the bike. Next, test your brakes to make sure the flashers work on both sides. Now for those of you that already have brake light mods installed, such as our RT Afterburners, you'd simply just need to unplug the OEM harness from your mods and then plug in the new brake light flasher harness into the OEM harness before your mods. Repeating that same process for the other side. And then test your brakes to make sure the mods also flash with the brake lights. And if everything looks good, you can reattach your panels in the reverse order you remove them. And that's all there is to it, folks. So if increasing your likeliness of being seen while braking is on your mod list, then be sure to head on over to swingmods.com today and grab a brake light flasher kit for your spider. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can keep you up to date on everything spider. I'm Brandon, signing out. Till next time.